All right, it's just witty back with another scripture for the week. And hope this Monday is uh, everything you thought it would be right after Sunday, right before Tuesday. So I'm reading from Matthew 6, verses 33. If you have your Bibles, um, say, I have my Bible. If you don't have your Bible, get your Bible or your phone. Either way works. All right. So the scripture reads, this is one of my favorites, <laughs> but seek ye first. And the scripture reads, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. So I'm actually going to read the verse before that because we're going to see what they're talking about. And the scripture before that is talking, um, it says, Your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all things. So I feel like this scripture means... Um, It's like all things point to him. So meaning any situation in your life that you're struggling with or um, any need that you want, if you seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And I want us to look up the word righteousness. Break that down really quickly. So the word righteousness is described as acting in accord with divine or moral law, free from guilt or sin. The quality of being morally right. So seek ye first the kingdom of God. What does that look like? That's, you know, that's praying and asking the Lord to, you know, um, reveal your purpose to you. You know, what What have you set me here on this earth to do um, dealing with your people? You know, how how can my life um, be a reflection of the kingdom of God? How can I exercise, you know, um, different characteristics of the fruit of the spirit, patience? Um, we're going to have to go over the fruit of the spirit because that's the only one I could think of right now. No, there's more patience, long suffering. Uh, but you know, seeking seeking him first with whatever need that you have because everything else will follow. You know, and I think about my situation and um being single and um you know, desiring to be married and um but just seeking him first, going to him praying for my husband that I haven't met yet, you know, um, praying that his angels be in camp around him, just speaking things into existence, but giving them to the Lord, you know, um, things I desire, my heart's desire for things, giving it to the Lord and um, being patient and, and just seeing what he communicates back in regards to those things. You know, and, and as far as righteousness goes, and, and good morality and um, I feel like this scripture kind of just um, reflects life just whole your whole life because I feel like with every need that he supplies naturally being human we, we have another need oh I got this okay next I want a house hmm okay I'm gonna seek you first the kingdom of God okay let me put this prayer you know um in front of you and, and see what you say in regards to that but in the in in within that i'm still fulfilling my purpose the things that i know that i should be doing here on earth while i'm waiting for whatever need he will supply so it's like you know it's really a win-win it's like we have so many questions in life that he has the answers to if we only seek him 
in regards to what we're looking for, everything else will follow. It's a win-win scripture. But again, I, I think it's just so much power in seeking the Lord first and all, you know, in his kingdom and his righteousness and, and knowing that everything else will follow is so much comfort in knowing that he got you. And it's just like with any relationship, the Lord created everything, everything. So it's like he knows he's omniscient. He knows He's omniscient. He knows everything. He's omnipresent. He's everywhere. So it's like, okay, I'm going to seek him first because he know the answer. And and whatever that looks like, that's building my relationship with him. And that's, that's key to making it into heaven, relationship. Like this earth is temporary. And um, just knowing that all these things will follow, like he knows your needs, but still it's about relationship. Cause I even struggle with that sometimes, like in seasons where I, you know, being human, you just get exhausted, exhausted. But you know, you feel taxed on praying about something. I've been praying about this, you know, I'm tired. You already know. You know, you, you feel the type of way, and that's just being honest. But I think it's it's so powerful that, you know, you still are expected to seek him. And I feel like it's so much about relationship. You know, because he knows what you need, but he, he wants you to come to him and ask him. You know, Father. You know, and just, just be real with him. You know, I've been asking you about this for a long time, but I'm still believing in you. And I, I still, this is still my request. And I ask that you guide me in this season because I know all these other things will follow, Lord. I ask that you guide me, you know, what should I be doing? How should I be preparing? What, what should this season look like for me? Because I want to get it right. You know what I mean? So I hope that um, you all can... Um, you know, drop a comment or different things on what this scripture looks like to you in your life. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything. And all these things shall be added unto you. Added. Plus, plus signs, plus signs. Let's get it. So, um, hopefully this, that was my knee. Hopefully uh, this blessed you. And it'll take you through the week. You can seek him first with different decisions and just um, including him in your day to day, building that relationship. And, you know, it, it's just a beautiful thing. And, and you will begin to hear his voice and know it's not your your imagination, but it's him. And, and just knowing that such a big God would care about your day to day. And, and given promise in scriptures like this, seek ye first, it's, it's a promise. And this is in red, this is Jesus talking. And these things shall, and these things shall be added unto you. It's not like these things maybe will, mm, no, shall. That's promising. So, don't want to make this too long. But, um, I just want to say a prayer really quick for the week. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in. Um, you're welcomed in. Uh, Lord, I just thank you for another week. I thank you for another day. Lord, I thank you for the viewers and, and just um, your word. I thank you for all that you are doing in our lives. Lord, I just ask that you help us on this week to seek you first seek you first with decisions that we make and, and different things that we're struggling with that we will seek you in prayer and, and um, wait for a response from you, you know, by faith and, and seeking your kingdom and our purpose in your kingdom, God, and all your righteousness that we may make decisions that are right and, um, you know, with the help of your spirit and your guidance and knowing that, you know, all these things shall be added unto us 
you know, all the things we desire through seeking you, God. It's just so much power in that. And Lord, I just ask that you help us just to trigger in our mind, okay, okay, Lord, to seek you. Thank you for another week. I thank you for the blessings that are in this week. And um, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Peace and love, peace and love.